Hello fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at the Micron Micromasters from the Galactic Odyssey collection from Transformers War for Cybertron Trilogy. So this is kind of an offshoot of Earthrise. Uh, they kind of rushed Earthrise in my opinion and a lot of its releases were just kind of relegated to online releases, Pulse exclusives, Amazon exclusives, things like that. The Galactic Odyssey collection uh, being completely and exclusive to Amazon. So this is, what, the third, fourth release in this line so far? Um, real quick, we'll talk about the packaging here. It's this standard kind of cardboard packaging that we're used to, but I do kind of like this logo. You kind of have, like, the larger Prime's head with the smaller Prime body inside, and I'm assuming this is supposed to be, like, the Matrix here in the chest. Kind of a neat little logo. But if we go ahead and open this up, try to get the tray not to stick to the roof because it seems to happen every time I open this box but you can see uh, kind of a cool picture here so this is the you know galactic odyssey touring these planets uh, previously we had seen the paradron medic and ratchet for paradron and I can't remember which planet it was but there was a uh, reissue of the two Autobot clones I can't remember exactly which one and then over here on micron all the way to the left we have this collection of repaints <laughs> for MicroMasters here. Uh, I'm really excited about these two down here, and I'll tell you why in a little bit, but I don't know. Three yellow seems like a strange choice to me. I'm not really sure uh, why they decided to make half the box all have a yellow color scheme, but that's what they did. Um, but yeah, anyway, so there's been a couple releases in this line, and I think we have one more to go, which is uh, Skylinks related. It's going to be, I think, a repaint of Airwave and Grease Pit with some MicroMasters, and um, yeah, should be okay. But in any case, uh, we're here to check these guys out, so once again, I'm gonna go ahead and just take this tray out of the box, and you can see we have the instructions here. It looks like we have some kind of card. I'm not sure what this is. This is kind of neat. Oh yes, these are the uh, little uh, like specs. It tells you a little bit about the planet and whatnot, which I think is pretty cool. I always forget that these are included, but they're actually pretty neat. So, I mean, the instructions really shouldn't be needed. They're all repaints of MicroMasters that all pretty much transform exactly the same way. Yeah, I don't really think this is going to be an issue transforming these little guys. And I'm going to be honest, I'm not doing these goofy... I'm not going to show you these goofy weapon modes. They're terrible. I've never thought that they work. I mean, look at this. It's just two random mangled cars put together to pretend it's a gun. Like, this one's not terrible, but you don't even transform it. You just turn it upside down. So, I mean, I like Micro Masters. I don't need them to also be Target Masters. I just think it was a weird choice. In any case, let's go ahead. Let's get these guys out of this tray so we can take a closer look. So here are the six MicroMasters out of the packaging, and you can see right away that on the right side we have a ton of yellow going on. Now I completely understand why he's yellow, and we'll get there in a minute. But uh, these guys, I tried to do some research on these, and we did have a yellow fire truck in G1 named Wheelblaze, but we've actually already done that repaint. If you remember back in Siege, there was a MicroMaster 2-pack with a red fire engine that was just a single, by that I mean one robot transformer, and they already repainted that into a yellow fire truck in the last MicroMaster uh, giant pack of repaints that they did. So that gave us wheel blaze. So I'm not sure why we're getting another fire truck out of this mold. And I'm pretty sure we're getting another fire truck out of this mold in that other pack that's Skylinks related. I think they're going to repaint these guys in red and give us another uh, use of a fire truck with this mold. And I mean, I'll be honest, this mold does not necessarily scream fire truck to me, so I don't understand why they're leaning so hard into that. But all that aside, I will say I do like this repaint. I think they did a nice job here. I understand that the faces are small, but they don't even really try when they have these faces and eyes. They just paint them all the same color. I mean, it doesn't even matter if it's a visor. Like you can see there, the visor and the face just, you know, slapped some silver paint on there. And it looks a little messy in my opinion. But I do really like the blue and the green. I think those colors work really well together with the yellow. I think that looks good. Articulation, you know, you have a ball joint here in the shoulder. You have a ball joint in the hip. You have kind of a ball joint there in the knee. So they have limited articulation. For some of them, the head can spin around. I'm not sure if it can for this guy or not. Yeah, he can. The head can kind of swivel side to side, but they're so small and it's so hard to get your hands in there that I don't usually bother with it. A little bit of nice red paint there on the back. 
So this guy's name is Fireguard. And this guy's name is Roadburner. And this guy's alright. I like the little bit of paint down here on the shins and the, the chest here. But I just... If you're going to get him a visor, can we just have like the visor be blue and then the face be silver or something like that? Or maybe just the top of the head. Why do we have a yellow head? Just too much yellow. Give us something different. Again, he's got a ball joint in the shoulder, ball joint in the hip. He's just got a hinge in the knee. But yeah, so I, I'm not necessarily opposed to this mold. I actually like the mold a lot. But I don't know, it's just too much yellow, especially when you've already got some yellow in this uh, box. And the other yellow makes sense. And again, I'll get there in a moment. But So we just go ahead, fold up the legs like that. And then you can see that there's a large tab right there. And there's a tab spot right there on the inside of his arm. So you just bring these up. And they will peg in like that. And there you go. That's pretty much his transformation. He's got kind of a sad face there on the side. <laughs> I think that's just... Uh, the way it was painted but it almost kind of looks like two eyes and nose and then just a straight across mouth like it's got a little sad face that's kind of hysterical to me uh then we have this guy you're just going to flip these out like so peg these together flip this around i think you have to peg the arms in first they same thing just they peg into those big tabs and then this comes down and pegs in like so so make sure that that's all. I feel like this tab isn't clearing. There we go. That should be that. And then you just have the peg hole right there. And boom, you peg that together. And you have your long, again, fire truck, I guess, is what they're going for. But I'm sorry, this is really more of an armored vehicle. Like some kind of, you know, uh, not tank vehicle, but just some kind of armored weapon vehicle. It's not really a fire truck. I'm sorry. But anyway, there you go. There's the transformation. Now, they do say you can turn the heads around if you want. They're so tiny, I don't even bother. I just close them up. It's fine. Not a big problem there. So this one is probably my least favorite. And there's nothing wrong with it. To me, it's just bland. The color scheme is just kind of bland. And I don't know why we're doing this as a fire truck. Because I just don't really think it fits the mold. I mean, okay, but... So he's my least favorite of the set. Not that he's terrible, he's just bland in my opinion. These two are actually pretty cool. So for once, they're actually completing a four-person team. So all throughout the MicroMasters of the 80s, they had these four packs of teams that were always, you know, four MicroMasters in a pack, and they had different team names. Now throughout uh, Siege and Earthrise, we did see some of those team names, but you only ever got two at a time. And even when they did that large uh recoloring uh repaint pack that they did a while ago i think it was a target exclusive it was like 10 or 15 micromasters all in there that would have been a perfect opportunity to go back and complete some teams and they didn't really do that but they are finally doing it here so this is the second half of the let me get the name right racetrack patrol now previously we saw the other two in earthrise and it's the same molds just repainted here so this is Runner, and I believe his name was Barricade back in G1. Now, because that name's kind of been passed on to kind of a more significant character, they've kind of renamed this guy Runner. And I think they even have to call him Decepticon Runner, because they probably don't own that name, because it's kind of just a bland name. It's hardly even a name, it's just really a word. But uh, So he was Barricade, now Runner. But this guy is Motorhead, so he got to keep his name. I like this one a lot, I think. The purple and yellow go really well together. The head's nicely painted. Again, I would have liked to see the visor and the face be different colors, but I don't know if that's how the original toy was. It might have been, because they probably would have had even smaller space to work with when painting a face back in the day. But I really like this color scheme. I think, again, the purple and yellow work really well together. You have the ball joint in the shoulder, the ball joint in the hip, and then the hinge in the knee. So again, you're just going to flip this closed. Peg these together, flip this around. And then, do I have to peg? Probably have to peg the arms in first. You can see that there's kind of just a tiny little tab, and it fits in between right there, right there. And then flip this around. I always have trouble getting these to actually flip around. I don't know why. <laughs> but it's being cumbersome. There we go. You can eventually get it. And it looks good. I think it's a cool looking car. I think the silver down here on the bottom looks sharp. 
So overall, I think this is a great repaint. And then for Runner, uh, really nice repaint here. I mean, the, the pink, the yellow, and the blue just work really well together. Those are really fun colors. I like that a lot. He's going to transform very similarly where you peg the legs together, though he has these pieces here that flip around and kind of form the back of the car. So you have to kind of bring this around, flip this into place, and then you can close the arms up and then flip this down. So very cool. I like this car a lot and I really like this color scheme. So I will say the second half of the Racetrack Patrol is probably my close second favorite from this set. And that's just because these guys are Mask references. So if you're not familiar, Mask is a Kenner property from the 80s that is now owned by Hasbro because they acquired Kenner. It stands for Mobile Armored Strike Command. And it was a cartoon about humans that would put these masks, masks on and then their cars or vehicles would transform from like one thing to another. So, you know, you had like a helicopter that turned into a jet. And I know you're probably thinking, well, they both can fly. What's the point? But it was cool. It was the 80s. Things were transforming. It was a lot of fun. So <laughs> uh, these are both mask references, which I'm really excited about. So let's take a closer look at this guy. Now, this guy's name is uh, Sting Racer which is a reference to Stinger because the car he transforms into uh, is very, very similar to a mask vehicle named Stinger. So you can see pretty nice head sculpt there. And I'd actually, again, I'd love the eyes to be painted, but the, it's actually painted pretty sharp as far as the face paint goes. And then he's got limited mobility here in the shoulder just because of how tall his shoulder pads are. And I think he has waist swivel. And then he's got a ball joint in the hips, but again, it's very limited. But you just want to go ahead and flip this down. And then flip this around like so. And there you go. So his, his alt mode is very similar to a mask car called the Stinger. And then they named him Sting Racer as a reference to that, which I think is great. Really nicely done. He looks fantastic. And then this one, which I think is my ultimate favorite. I mean, one, I just love this color scheme. This bright green with the flames and the yellow and everything just looks really sharp. And again, he's got very limited shoulder movement. He does have a waist swivel. I believe he has a waist swivel. Yeah, there it goes. Ball joint in the hip and then bend at the knee. But uh, we're going to flip this around. And move the arms up here. It's kind of hard to get some of these tabs to line up. Sometimes there's a very limited amount of wiggle room, but you can eventually get it. And then we push this around. And there we go. So this is just super fun. I mean, the flame decals look amazing. And this was a mask vehicle called the Hurricane. And because of that, this guy's name is Windstorm. So again, another obvious reference with the name there. And I think this one is doubly special to me because this was one of the few mask vehicles I actually had as a kid. I was a real big fan of the idea and the concept and everything, but I just it was right around when I was born and I was really heavily into Transformers, so they kind of took precedence. And uh, I didn't have a ton of mask vehicles, but this was one of the few that I actually had. So when they announced this, uh, this little reference here, I knew I had to have it. I mean, I love the color scheme. It's very nostalgic for me, and they just did such a great job with these. So I think these are a ton of fun. Definitely the two mask references are my favorite, but the race car patrol actually being completed is a very close second. And then that's just kind of why the fire truck over here kind of loses out. It's not because there's anything specifically wrong with it. Obviously, it's a little bland to me. There's just a lot of yellow. I would have liked a little bit more as far as color. Uh, but I really do like this yellow. I'm sorry, the blue and green down here I like a lot. I just think this guy's kind of bland. And maybe they could have given us different helmet colors instead of just more yellow so it's okay there's nothing terribly wrong with it it's just definitely the least appealing to me uh, these four are absolutely fantastic so i definitely recommend picking this set up i think it's a lot of fun uh, the references actually getting a team completed is pretty fantastic i would be okay if they went back and did more repaints to complete those teams i mean we have the race car patrol you know i can't remember all the names off offhand but there's the military patrol from siege um, 
there's definitely a couple more that they could do. I mean, they gave us a lot of partial teams, and I would love to have them finish. I think it's so cool that they actually went back and finished the race car patrol for us. So very, very cool there. And uh, yeah, like I said, I just I definitely recommend picking this set up. It's on, I believe it's still on Amazon. I think it's thirty dollars for the set, which I think makes sense. You're getting six Micro Masters. That's about five dollars a piece. I mean, the two packs go for about ten dollars normal retail. So I don't think there's any kind of price hike or inflation here. I think you're paying pretty much standard retail for six Micro Masters. But yeah, I think it's a great set. A lot of great repaints here, and the mask references are just too fun to pass up. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as always, thanks so much for watching.